Did you know there is a wonderful mystery to be found in the Hebrew word scarlet? Join me now as we investigate and discover the spiritual truth found there. Accompany me as we heed the words of the prophet Jeremiah and the apostle John. Join me as we investigate the sacred pages of the ancient prophetic text we call the Old Testament in search of Messiah. The Mystery in the Scarlet Thread There is an amazing account in the ancient prophetic text in which a family is saved from death by a scarlet thread. Did you know there is a messianic connection in this? This account begins in the book of Jericho, where the nation of Israel is about to conquer the walled city fortress called Jericho. This is their first major military test after crossing the Jordan River into the land promised to them by God through their father Abraham. And in anticipation of this attack, Joshua, the newly appointed leader of the nation of Israel, sent two spies into the city of Jericho. Once inside this fortress, they were provided protection from their enemies in the house of a harlot named Rahab. In return, as they departed, they provided her with a way to be safely identified during the coming assault on the city. She is told in chapter 2, verse 18, Behold, when we come into the land, thou shalt bind this line of scarlet thread in the window, which thou didst let us down by. And thou shalt bring thy father and thy mother and thy brethren and all thy father's household home unto thee. This scarlet thread was to mark the only place of protection in the entire city. But why was this particular color offered? What can be revealed in the Hebrew letters that would help us understand more? The word scarlet in Hebrew is sheen, noon, yod. Sheen is the one letter God can use to identify himself. It is his signature and can mean to consume or to destroy or to press. Noon is the letter that stands for activity or life. Yod is the letter that stands for a mighty deed or a deed accomplished. So the first thing we can conclude is that God's signature is on a mighty work that is going to bring life and that it has something to do with the scarlet thread. But is there a messianic connection to be found here? Where did this particular color originate? And what is its significance? Psalm 22, written by King David of Israel and sometimes called the Psalm of the Cross, gives us a glimpse of Messiah to come. In verse 6, the anguish of the Messiah is displayed. But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men and despised of the people. The word used here for worm is not the usual Hebrew word for worm, rima, which means a maggot, but instead is the word tola, which is called the crimson or the scarlet worm. When pressed, it produces the color of freshly spilled blood. When it is time for this short, fat little worm, which is about the size of a plump grain of rice to reproduce, which will only happen once, it fastens itself to the trunk of a tree. It then forms a protective shell and lays eggs under the shell. It becomes so securely fastened that to remove it would result in its death. As the hungry offspring hatch, their only available food is the body of their parent. Within a few days, the new little ones are able to leave and fend for themselves. Before this happens, as the tola worm dies, it stains the offspring in the tree underneath a permanent scarlet color. Within three days, the tola worm loses its scarlet color and its protective shell. It turns white and it drops to the ground like a snowflake. Even today, there are a few weeks of the year that this little worm can be found throughout the Holy Land and is gathered and used to permanently dye fabrics. Can you begin to see why the Messiah would liken himself to the Tola worm? Who allowed himself to be securely fastened to a tree, knowing that the only way off it was death? Who gave his life protecting his offspring? Who was pressed until he gave his own blood? 
Who in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, verse 19, makes this offer? And he took bread and gave thanks, and brake it, and gave it unto them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And finally, who appeared three days after his death, no longer bearing the bloodstains of his death, but white as snow? The Hebrew prophet Isaiah gave us a glimpse into the future work of Messiah more than 700 years before his birth. In Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18, we read, Come now, and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. The scarlet color of the thread that was to become the means of salvation for Rahab and her family was produced by the dye made from the tola worm. Messiah directed us to the tola worm in King David's psalm because in it was the picture of his plan. His body and blood would be the means of salvation for us. The numbers that the letters Sheen, Nun, Yod represent complete the mystery found in the word scarlet. Sheen is the number 300 and signifies the final blood sacrifice made by the Lamb of God. Noon is the number 50, 5 times 10, and signifies multiplied grace. Yod is the number 10 and signifies something ordained in heaven. When we combine the message in the letters with the message in the numbers, we see the mystery revealed in the word scarlet. God has identified himself to us and ordained in heaven a mighty work of his son, Yeshua HaMashiach, who through his final blood sacrifice, through God's multiplied grace, has given us eternal life. Not only is the harlot Rahab saved from death by her trust in the scarlet symbol of the blood of Messiah, but she later marries Solomon, a prince of the tribe of Judah, and one of their descendants will be Messiah himself. If you haven't yet come to know Yeshua HaMashiach, you are indeed missing a great blessing. His plan all along has been to take your sins, which are as scarlet, and make them white as snow. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this Hebrew word study. It is our prayer that you will draw closer to your Heavenly Father as you consider the divine revelation of Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Son of God. Until next time, Shalom. We hope this study was a blessing to you and encouraged you in your faith. For more Hebrew Word study videos, you can visit our site at thelivingword3d.com. If you'd like to investigate this further, you can get the book from our online bookstore at rockislandbooks.com.